Hello everyone, welcome to the Jenkins Infrastructure Team Weekly Meeting. Today we are the 26th of September 2023. So that's uh, that will be a word session because I'm alone today. Um, Mark Waite is currently traveling. Um, Hervé Lemur is unavailable. Uh, Stefan Merle is heal, Bruno Varaton is giving a course, and Kevin Martins is heal. So anyone trying to poison, poison the team uh, must be brought to justice, right? Okay, so let's do that quickly, just for the sake of running the meeting one. Uh, first of all, announcement. <clears throat> so the weekly release 2.425 has been released with success. So I believe... Um, Packages Docker image are out, uh, already deployed to Infra CI Jenkins. Uh, so it's running well for now. Uh, next release checklist item will be done, I assume, tomorrow since Kevin is here to be done later. Uh, no more announcement on my side as far as I can. Oh, no. Uh, there has been a quick incident on incremental publisher, which was in a word that state after an Elm deploy uh, opened. So we had to delete the deployment and recreate it. Uh, so that was five minutes of unavailability of outage today. Um, I'll open a, a posteriori um, afterwards uh, a status element with explanation, but what happened is that the Elm state wasn't able to deploy and was stuck because the old replica set was being deleted, but never terminated and it was an uh, unwanted state. So we had to remove replica sets, put deployment and then apply Elm file again, worked. Uh, so replica set, was not atomically deleted. Had to remove it manually and redeploy. Uh, next weekly will happen next week, 2.426, uh, as usual. Uh, next LTS, I don't know. So I will put NA. I assume it will be uh, middle of October. So we'll confirm next week when everyone will be there. Uh, as far as I can tell, no security advisories. As you can see, none announced. We had one last week uh, for the core, as you can everyone remember. Uh, next major event, we have Mockweight currently attending the DevOps World Tour at Chicago uh, this week. Uh, then Santa Clara in London. Uh, I believe London might change, so be careful. I'm removing the dates. Don't forget the first M and October. We'll see the October 1st. We need to be ready. OK, so let's get started with the work we're able to finish. Block, we have a task user blocked by an anti-spam system. We, it looks like we have some IP ranges that are considered as spam ranges, but these IP ranges are shared by different uh, ISPs. So we had to unblock the user here. There has been uh, an issue on the plugin not showing up, but it was uh, on the plugin side. The maintainer took, took care of that and it was fixed by itself. No action required from us. Uh, we had an issue with launchable last version. It's still failing. We tried to deploy it and it failed Jenkins core builds during uh, alpha day. So we are to roll back to 1.66.0. That has been uh, raised on the launchable uh, uh, command line issue tracker, and we'll see when the problem will be fixed. Uh, that is an important thing. It means next launchable uh, update uh, requires to be more careful. We might probably want to test it directly using uh, test, test it next time using the pipeline library or a custom installation function in a pipeline. Um, another issue due to anti-spam fixed, same, same kind of problem, same result. And finally, the mirror 
uh, the list of mirrors for get Jenkins IO are now stable, is now stable and enabled. Belnet is back. Uh, there was, I think it was Servana, which is now back. And we have removed the server that weren't used due to no air sync or FTP. So we sent an email last week to the maintainer of this mirror. They weren't respons responsive enough. So we have removed the mirrors for now. Uh, if they contact us back to re-enable the mirrors, then we will take care of uh, adding them back. It's not it's not written in a row, but yeah. Now we have a full and clean list of mirrors. Just a note, um, re removing a mirror trigger a full rescan, which means the fallback might be used for a few hours uh, delegating most of the traffic to fallbacks. Um, also another point that might result on an issue, um, as cooked by uh, Daniel Beck on IRC, archives Jenkins IO um, should be used as fallback, even with a lower weight or as a mirror as a lower weight, or we need a a fallback mirror hosted on the Jenkins infrastructure uh, because some old packages are fallbacked to OSU OSL, which uh, seems to have a, a time range. And after the time range, they delete the packages. Should be the fallback. Uh, why archive Jenkins IO? We are moving it to Digital Ocean, so it can handle being a fallback mirror by default in bandwidth and performances. So that change from the old machine that was used as a low priority mirror. There has been discussion on that topic. I remember Mark and Olivier telling that we want both. But in that case, given the infrastructure effort, since Archive Jenkins IO has everything, the goal is to put it as a, uh, as a low level and fallback mirror. And or a lower weight mirror. By default, it has all the content, so being only fallback should be the way to go. Uh, issue to create on the new milestone. Now, what about the work in progress? Uh, I'm taking them on the order of the list. First, uh, thanks Stefan Merrill for working and helping our new contributor. So there is a work on the Packer image, the all-in-one image we are building since we are back trying to build Windows container. Uh, we are more, we are trying to move all the test harness to a tool named GOS, uh, which will make things easier for testing and more portable. Uh, there has been an effort on GOS, especially with the incoming Trivi thing. So Stefan has uh, worked a lot that help on the playwright issue from our new contributor that will help on the incoming Windows support and that will help on uh, making the build faster. So that issue is a set of tiny step-by-step. -step. Thanks Stefan for taking care of that. There is uh, some automation with update CLI. And the next step will be to move all the sanity check to either a, uh, acceptance test or sanity test test. We need the, the two of them. Details on the issue. Work in progress on Oracle Cloud and Tools. Uh, the goal is to remove them. So the status is we have removed the job. We are going to archive the, the Terraform project, and then we will remove the wall SSO integration. Uh, but only once archived Jenkins IO will, will have been migrated away. Um, Next step, we are we have effectively switched from TFSEC to Trivi for static analysis of Terraform files. Uh, Trivi sometimes is a bit complicated to manage. It's because the inline exception are a bit more sensitive due to the Rego support. It's work in progress. It has already been reported to the Aquasec Trivi project and they're working hard on it. Uh, so now the next step before closing the issue will be to remove TFSEC from everywhere on the infrastructure. Uh, speed up the Docker image library to create push tag at the same time for both GitHub and Docker. That is an important part required for the next step of IRM transition. 
Alas, uh, Stefan was absolutely full on other topics that are, are more important than this one. But now we have shared uh, the burden, so that one should be okay to be worked on for the next milestone. Uh, you haven't done any changes and didn't have time to work on the request field from Jira login page, so to be continued. Uh, if I don't have time on the next milestone, that will go back to the form, to the uh, that will be back to the uh, backend of issues. HA ensured for the replicated services, huge work from Stefan on that part. So we have identified that uh, we need to be careful on the on T affinity and PDB. And now we have a list of the replicated services that we are treating one by one to ensure it has both. On T affinity to ensure services are spread. So if we lose a node or do maintenance, then the service is still on sorry if it's replicated. And the PDB to ensure that normal operations, such as rotating the operating system or upgrading Kubernetes nodes, uh, in that case, the, the or scheduler know how to orchestrate start, how much node can go offline at a given uh, moment. So that's nice job. Uh, we are going to iterate on the PDB to open the road on fully migrating these services to RM64. So thanks, Stefan, for that great work. The list is really useful, so we can split the burden. A word on Matomo GitHub Docker repo. Uh, so the, we have decided of the architectures and everything is ready to roll for starting the MySQL. And I'm taking over the Docker image build to help Stefan, uh, so he don't have too much tasks. So we should be able to deploy the new uh, MySQL instance to support that new, that new machine. Reminder, Matomo should run from the start on RM64. A word about artifactory bandwidth reduction options. So every issue has been fixed technically. So now it's on a mark weight uh, area to confirm that the statistics that you receive weekly from uh, GFROG confirm that we have reduced the bandwidth. Uh, and then next month, we should be able to report success or failure to GFROG. So let's see the result of the real life system. If it doesn't decrease, then we will need to analyze where this traffic comes from. Uh, the topic about so deleting the pages on Jenkins.io that aren't accessible and indexed anymore is uh, uh, will be put on hold because Hervé is busy on Update Center and other tasks. Uh, and less availability for him this week. Uh, I will check this, uh, I will put this issue on the next milestone and I will try to remove at least the faulty page on short term before Eric can continue his work around backing up and doing the migration. Finally, a word on updates Jenkins IO migration. So Hervé, thanks for the huge work here. Uh, currently trying to find, um, let's say, a main a sustainable setup for Cloudflare with Terraform that involved DNS, TLS, and R2 buckets. Uh, so then Hervé should be able to start testing the new uh, the new Mirrorbit instance. Uh, we weren't able to create or spend time on the Oktoberfest issue. I hope we will have this week. Otherwise, we will we'll just say no Oktoberfest for the Jenkins Infra. I hope uh, anyone ready to help could help, but yeah. Don't hesitate if you're interested though, we still have a few issues that could be done and marked on Oktoberfest on last minute. Okay, so that's all for me. So let's see each other next week. All the issues from current milestone will be moved to the next milestone. And if new issue happen, they will automatically be uh, triaged. Thank you, everyone, and see you next week.